Hey guys, Ulti Farago here, and today I'm going to go over a brief review of the plugin Conquestia Mobs. So the first thing you want to do is look at the help menu. Now the help menu will show you all of the commands that are available, as well as you can hover over the question mark and see a quick usage as well as a description of the command. And then when you decide on which command you want to use, you can just click on it to have it entered into the chat bar for you. Alright, CQ settings is where you're going to want to do all of your configurations for this plugin. We're going to start by going into the global config. The global config is your default options for this plugin. So these will be the settings that are used if you don't specifically set the settings in a world or for a specific spawn point. And I'll get into the details about what exactly a spawn point is and how to set them up in a second. As you can see, the global settings will have all of the exact same settings that you would have inside of the worlds as well as the spawn points. Now you're going to want to make sure that you have at least one world enabled or else this plugin will not do anything. So we're going to spawn a mob real quick just so y'all can see just off the bat. This is what the mob looks like when spawned. Alright, just clear that real quick. And now we're going to go into the world and we're going to remove that annoying little tag that's at the end of his name. So yeah, I like it in my global settings, but I want to change it specifically for this world. I can easily just disable it real quick, go back, and now when I spawn, I'm going to spawn a spider because they don't burn, but they do get stuck in wood. As you can see, there's no longer a level at the end of the name. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and create two spawn points to show you how exactly they're intended to work. Also, um, you can delete this one and as you'll see it always ensures you have one because there has to be at least one spawn node for the plugin to work. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and create one here and then we'll run over here and we will create another one right here. Okay, so currently there are two spawn nodes. Alright, let's go ahead and give each one of these spawn nodes a different ender. Alright, so the way that the spawn nodes work is whatever spawn node is closest to a mob whenever it spawns will determine the settings that are used for that mob. So if I spawn a mob right here Let's do a spider. Alright, as you can see the spider has a 1 after its name. Now if I spawn one over here, the spider has a 2 after its name. Alright, and that is it for my plugin. If you have uh, any questions, concerns, issues, don't understand anything, feel free to either message me or post on the discussion on SpigotMC for my plugin Conquestia Mobs.